कि एग्जाम्पल एट में तुम लोग को क्या प्रॉब्लम था पूछो मुझे किसी ने भेजा कि नहीं समझ में आया बोलिए क्या प्रॉब्लम है एग्जाम्पल एट में अदरवाइज आई विल गो अहेड विद द नेक्स्ट एग्जाम्पल ओके तो कम टू एन अदर एग्जाम्पल सॉल्व वन प्लस टू पर एक्स बाई वाई डी एक्स प्लस टू पर एक्स बाई वाई वन माइनस एक्स बाई वाई डी वाई इज इक्वल टू जीरो फिर एम इज वन प्लस टू पर एक्स बाई वाई एंड एन इज इट टू पर एक्स बाई वाई वन माइनस एक्स बाई वाई Take partial differentiation of m with respect to y. It is given as e to the power x upon y into minus x by y square. Since here we are differentiating partially with respect to y, so x will be treated as a constant. So it is equal to minus x by y square e to the power x upon y. And now take partial differentiation of n with respect to x. So it will be e to the power x upon y into zero minus one by y plus One minus x by y into e to the power x upon y into differentiation of x upon y is one by y. So it is equal to minus uh, one upon y e to the power x by y plus one upon y e to the power x upon y minus x by y square e to the power x upon y. So it is minus x upon y square e to the power x upon y. This is the same value as partial differentiation with respect to y. So the given differential equation is exact. its solution will be integration m dx treating y as a constant plus integration terms of n not con not containing x dy is equal to c so it is implies that integration 1 plus e to the power x upon y dx y is constant plus integration e to the power x upon y into 1 minus x by y dy is equal to c leaving the terms containing x x contain karne wale jo term unko hum log ko chhod dena hoga so its integration is x plus e to the power x upon y Into y plus zero is equal to c, or x plus e to the y into the power x upon y is equal to c. This is our required solution. Next, come to uh, another example. Uh, integrating factor found by inspection. Uh, sometimes an equation which is not exact can be made exact by multiplying some uh, both sides by some. Function of x and oblique or y, we call such function as integrating factor of the differential equation. Uh, suppose we have a differential equation x dy minus y dx is equal to zero. We can see that here m is x and uh, n is minus y, and partial differentiation of m with respect to uh, m is minus y and n is x. Uh, partial differentiation m with respect to y is minus one, but partial differentiation n with respect to x is plus one. So both of them are not equal. It means this equation is not exact. But when we multiply it by a factor of one point x square, the equation will be x dy minus y dx by x square is equal to zero, and it can be written as dy by x is equal to zero, and hence by integrating we get a solution y by x is equal to c. Hence, the, here the integrating factor will be one point x square. So sometimes we found the integrating factor by inspection. See example, x dy minus y dx minus one minus x square dx equal to zero. The given equation can be written as x dy minus y dx. It is equal to one minus x square dx divided by x square both sides. So it is x divided minus y dx by x square is equal to one minus x square by x square dx. So the left hand side will be dy by x is equal to one by x square minus one dx or y by x will be integration one upon x square minus one dx after integrating both sides. So it implies that y by x is equal to minus one by x minus x plus c or multiply both sides by x. So y will be minus one minus x square plus c x. Or y plus x square plus one is equal to c x. This is our required solution. If you want to see one more example, see here one more example. Solve x cube plus c x y square dx plus y cube plus three x square dy. Yeah, y dy is equal to zero. Here m will be x square plus c x y square and n will be a y cube three plus three x square y. So partial differentiation m with respect to y will be six x y and partial differentiation n with respect to x will be. Six x y. So both of them are equal, and hence the given differential equation is exact. Now we can write the given differential equation as x cube dx plus y cube dy. Take here x cube, here y cube, plus three x y, y dx plus x dy is equal to zero, or x cube dx plus y cube dy plus three x y dx y is equal to zero. Integrating it, we get 
x to the power 4 by 4 plus y to the power 4 by 4 plus 3 into x y whole square by 2 is equal to c. This is our required general solution. So uh, this is also a simple example. Um, if you would like to see one more example, see. Solve x dx plus y dy plus x square plus y square dy is equal to 0. The game equation can be written as x dx plus y dy by x square plus y square plus dy is equal to 0. Divide whole uh, by x square plus y square. So it implies that 1 upon 2 into 2x dx plus 2y dy by x square plus y square plus dy is equal to 0. Multiply numerator by 2 and divide by 2. So it implies that 1 upon 2 dx square plus y square by x square plus y square plus dy is equal to 0. When you evaluate this, you will get this one. Integrating it, we get 1 upon 2 log x square plus y square plus integration of dy is y is equal to c, where c is a constant of integration. So log x square plus y square plus 2y is equal to 2c, 2c, uh, we re replace 2c by k. So this is our general solution. Uh, let us see integrating factor in some special cases. Uh, we don't need its proof here. When mx plus ny is not equal to 0, means multiply m in with x and n with y, and if this their sum is not zero and the equation is homogeneous. Then one upon mx plus ny is an integrating factor of n dx, m dx plus n dy is equal to zero. Let us see uh, one example. Solve. Uh, let me make it some bigger. Okay. Uh, solve x square y minus 2xy square dx minus x cube minus 3x square y dy is equal to zero. See here the equation is homogeneous. This is of third degree, this is of third degree, this is of third degree, this is of third degree. So here m is x square y minus 2xy square and n is minus x cube minus 3x square y. So partial differentiation of m with respect to y will be x square minus 4xy and partial differentiation of n with respect to x is minus 3x square minus 6x square. You can see both of them are not equal. Partial, uh, so the given equation is not exact. We need to make it exact by multiplying some integrating factor. The equation is homogeneous and uh, evaluate m into x plus n into y. So m into x is this one, x cube y minus 2x square y square and n into y is minus x cube y plus 3x square y square. Sum both of them, their sum is um, x square y square. So this is not zero. So integrating factor will be 1 upon mx plus ny. It is equal to 1 upon x square plus y, 1 upon x square y square. Multiply the given differential equation by this integrating factor. Uh, 1 upon x square y square say isko multiply kar do. Uh, then you will get uh, 1 upon y minus 2 by x dx plus 3 upon y minus x by y square dy is equal to 0. You can uh, see it very easily. It is not a tough task. Now differentiate. This is our um, uh, quantified m. This is our modified m. So partial differentiation m with respect to y will be now it is minus 1 upon y square and partial differentiation n uh, with respect to x will be minus y square 1 upon y square. See both of them are equal. So the, the, this equation now becomes exact. Now, uh, 1 upon y dx minus uh, x by y square dy minus 2 by x dx plus 3 by y dy is equal to 0. Take this with this one and this one with this one. So it can be written as y dx minus x dy uh, by y square minus 2 by x dx plus 3 by y dy is equal to 0 or dx by y plus 3 by y dy minus 2 by x dx is equal to 0 since dx by y will be this one. After integration, we get x upon y plus 3 log y minus 2 log x is equal to c or x upon y plus log this 3 log y means log y cube 2 log x is means log x square this is minus so plus log y cube by x square is equal to c where c is our constant of integration. So this is our required solution. Uh, after this, uh, we will have uh, another rule, rule two. It was another, the earlier was rule one, now it is rule two. When m into x minus n into y is not equal to zero, and the equation is of the form f1xy into y dx plus f2xy into x dy is equal to zero, then 1 over mx minus ny is an integrating factor of m dx plus n dy is equal to zero. It means when our given equation m dx plus n dy is equal to zero is not exact. And if the equation is of the form this f1xy into y dx plus f2xy into x dy is equal to zero, then and also m into x minus n into y is not equal to zero. Then 
1 upon mx minus ny will be our integrating factor for this non-exact differential equation. So there is also, uh, we have example over this. So uh, first of all, you do all the earlier uh, study today. Uh, after this, go to the next rule and their examples. Uh, write example nine. 